guys, it is Faith. Welcome back to another vlog on the channel. Today, I thought it would be super fun to do my monthly reset routine. I thought it was very fitting because the day you're seeing this, it's gonna be April 1st. I absolutely love watching these videos and I love filming them. I've only filmed a few of them so far. So I thought it would be really cool to just spend the day with you guys and get ready for the new month. So I'm gonna go ahead and get up do some morning work, tidy up the space a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and get started. So I hope you guys enjoy watching. everything cleaned up. So I'm gonna celebrate in the only way I know how and that's with coffee. So I'm gonna show you guys my favorite drink I've been liking in the afternoon recently. Super, super simple. Okay, so the first thing obviously is you need a glass. This is gonna be ice, so I'm gonna add ice to it. This is my favorite creamer right now. It's by Silk. It's the oat milk vanilla creamer, the vanilla one absolutely love this stuff a lot so what i'm gonna do is because this is already one shot i'm gonna go ahead and pour this in and then i'm gonna take the vanilla syrup and i'm just gonna pour a little bit i like to add vanilla with the espresso just because um the flavoring can mix well with the espresso instead of with the milk so i'm just gonna shake that around and then i'm gonna take my oat milk creamer I'm just gonna put in like a splash of oat milk. So, like that much. And that's what it looks like. Usually it's a little bit less. I accidentally put a little too much creamer in it, but that's basically how you make my favorite drink right now. Oh yeah, that's very sweet. I definitely did add too much creamer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for my day a little bit. I'm just gonna do a little bit of makeup. And then we're gonna take this upstairs and we're gonna go ahead and do some goal planning for the month of April. I got a little bit ready. I put on some concealer and did some eye makeup and then I put the comforter in the washer and the sheets in the dryer. So now it's time for the next thing which is goal planning for April. So one thing that I haven't done yet is actually go back and look at my 2022 vision board. And I feel like that's so important to do every once in a while, like throughout the year. to see what your goals are, see how you're doing with them, and maybe make a goal for a month to get a little closer to your New Year's resolutions. So I had my goals in different categories, self, lifestyle, career, money, creativity. Okay, so for the self, work out, at least three times per week. So on here, I wrote Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I actually have been following through with this, not as consistently as I want, like I'm not working out every single week, three times a week, but I have been a little more intentional on working out, making sure I add it into my schedule throughout the week. So I feel like I'm doing a pretty solid job at that. The next one is saying yes to more opportunities. I feel like that's more like in the career realm that I have been saying yes to more opportunities. There's been a lot of opportunities that have come at me recently that I am just super excited about. So I feel like any opportunity that comes during work, I tend to say yes to. Getting more comfortable vlogging and taking photos in public. Okay, this is a really funny one. So last week I was actually taking Instagram photos literally out in my front yard and my neighbor was working on her yard right next door and I was like, oh my gosh, should I come back inside and just do this a little bit later? But I decided to stick through with it. I brought out the tripod. I didn't care who was watching. I was gonna take those Instagram photos. But eventually I just got over that fear. I just like 
I was like, all right, this is what I'm gonna do because this is what I have to do. I mean, the sun is about to go down. I don't have another time to do this. So I feel like I definitely have gotten better. Now with vlogging, that's a little bit of a challenge, but I feel like I'm starting to get comfortable with taking Instagram photos and kind of being out and about and taking content more. The next one is taking time for self-care moments, like nails, facials, etc. This is so funny to look back on because this month I have been so crazy obsessed with doing my nails. I love making my coffee, like my espresso recipe I showed you earlier. I like sitting up here with oldies music. It's like oldies tracks playing. There's a live stream of that on YouTube. It's amazing. And I love to just sit here and do my nails. I don't care how bad they look or how good they turn out. I just love doing my nails. So right now it's just like this little French tip. I'm getting a little bit better at doing my nails. I did this all by hand, just like with a brush. I didn't have like a stencil or anything, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm at right now. I feel like I've been doing my nails so much because part of my content creating that I'm doing I have to show my hands so I always want my nails to look good and I just don't want to go to a nail salon every couple weeks it's just not my thing so doing my nails it's been a recent hobby so that's just so funny that's more self-care moments on the 2022 vision board and it's actually coming to life. The next is career. So one of my goals is to hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. I still feel like that's pretty doable. Um, I feel like with getting consistent on YouTube recently, I definitely have grown a lot of subscribers. A lot of my subscribers have come from um, my online school videos and that was like years ago and then they just kind of like stuck on there but I feel like I'm gaining some real-time subscribers which is amazing I gotta get another viral video in like my online school videos to get that 10k another one is obtain three long-term clients in freelancing so if you guys are not familiar I am a freelance social media manager and video editor there is an opportunity coming in the next couple of weeks I don't know what's gonna come out of that but I could definitely see that being a long-term thing we'll see about that one we'll check back with that one later the next one is money start investing Roth IRA stocks crypto NFTs <laughs> I actually have contributed to my Roth IRA already I started it was it last year or was it this year I'm not 100% sure but I did start a Roth IRA which is a big step of mine and I have contributed to it but I definitely am looking into crypto. I know that's a very controversial topic, um, but just doing research on that right now, I think I might contribute some because I do have some like money that I could like totally just throw at it and be fine with never seeing it again. The next one, understand affiliate marketing. I am just like, my mind is just so blown at my 2022 vision and how a lot of it is like coming to life. Affiliate marketing is actually starting to become a new source of income um, I recently joined like to know it and let me tell you if you're an influencer join like to know it if you can because the commission is amazing so I'm definitely understanding affiliate marketing and it's amazing to see how it's starting to become a new income stream I can at least see the potential of it it's awesome so now that I just rambled all about my 2022 goals I'm going to set some um, for this month. I'm gonna go ahead and write some goals down and then I'll come back with you guys and share those. Okay, I kind of went a little overboard. I was making the goals and I was like, you know what? Let's make a little vision board. So I did it. I found photos from Pinterest. I just put a few on like a little sheet and now I'm going to put it in my April goals. I love creating vision boards, whether it's for goals or for aesthetics, whatever it is, I love it. It's just something to look at that's like, this is gonna be April 2022. This is the vibe. But my goals is to continue to work out three times a week. I wanna work on my strength, whether that's in my arms, my noodle arms, or um, in my core or on my legs, just some kind of strengthening workout. Um, the next one, get comfortable with taking photos and vlogging in public. You know, as the weather is getting warmer, I wanna get out more. And that's gonna require me to start vlogging more in public and um, taking Instagram photos because I need my Instagram feed to look like I'm not a shut-in. <laughs> 
I feel like I'm just going to get a comment one day. It's like, um, do you ever leave your house? I do. I just don't feel comfortable taking photos in public, okay? And then the next one, get one paid brand deal. I feel like it's good just to start out as one. And obviously with a brand that I genuinely like and enjoy their products, not just like some random brand deal just to get paid, you know? Onboard one long-term client and start investing in crypto and educate myself in NFTs. But yeah, the vision board has nothing to do with any of those goals. But I'll kind of show you what my vision board looks like. I'll also put a photo up here. We love Chanel skincare. That was just like a fun skincare inspo photo. This little springy photo. This bag has the text saying things I don't need but bought anyway. Literally me. Actually, let me show you. I still have all the bags from my birthday haul. It's a problem. Cute little quote that says daily reminder, smile, drink your water, work out, remember why you started, spread love and positivity. I love that little quote. And then I have this bed. I love getting light in the morning. So that kind of represents the morning light I'm going to be getting in my room more often. Tennis rackets with tennis balls and orange slices. I am so excited to get back into tennis. We always play tennis in the spring and summertime. Um, so this is just introducing the tennis. And the last one is just like this little mirror selfie of this girl. Just spring vibes, you know. This kind of looks like me in my room whenever I do mirror selfies, so just something fun. And speaking of working out, this is a perfect time for me to get ready and go work out. I did a Sammy Clark workout a couple days ago and it killed me, literally. My legs are very sore, so I think I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna try to find something more low key, but I'm gonna go ahead and work out and today's my shower day, so I'm gonna go ahead and shower and I'll come back to you guys after all that. Made it to the garage downstairs. I just realized my sweater matches my mat. Um, I just put this little sweater on and then I just rolled it up and tucked it in um, because it's a little cold out here, but I don't want to be like so restricted. So I have a Pilates video on YouTube. I love Lottie Murphy. I love her Pilates stuff. This is her 10 minute ultimate Pilates routine. I just have this playing on the TV. I'm gonna do this super quick. This should only be about like 10 minutes or so. Um, I wanted to do some Pilates because my legs are still super sore from my workout the other day. So I just want something more strengthening. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my workout. Okay. Workout is done. I'm gonna be taking a liquid IV. I like to do this for hydration, especially post-workout. That was a really good class. However, my balance was just not the best. And that's what I like about Pilates is it helps me with like my balance and mobility and stuff. But I was just not on my A game today. So I'm gonna have some of this liquid IV. I'm gonna go take a shower and I'll come back with you guys after that. Fast forward a couple hours. I'm in bed editing. It's like currently 9.42 p.m. It's almost 10 p.m. So I'm just finishing up my sleepy tea and then I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little monthly reset routine. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next vlog really soon. Bye!